All right, so you go to turn on your Wii U and the logo shows up fine and everything, but it doesn't go away. So you reboot the Wii U, but the logo still shows up. It's not going away. You're not getting past that logo. So eventually you give up. You go on your laptop, you search up, why is my logo not going away? And then you find out that you bricked your Wii U. And in this video, I'll explain the different methods on how you can unbrick your Wii U today. All right, hey guys, it's Beast Mode. And in this video, I'm gonna explain how you can unbrick your Wii U today. Now, before I get started, I did a video earlier on how to unbrick your Wii, and that was fairly simple, but with the Wii U, it's much more complicated. That's just because with the Wii, there was only three main types of bricks, but with the Wii U, there's like 60 different bricks, but in this video, I'm only gonna go through the top three and how you can fix your Wii U. And also, this is not a tutorial video, this is just an explanation video because I don't actually own a Wii U of my own, so... That's why. All right, before I tell you the solutions, you gotta know what the term bricked means. Now, essentially what the term bricked means uh, in the Nintendo space is when your device or console can't boot up. It's stuck in an infinite loop where Nintendo cannot fix it remotely. Now, the different types of bricks that you can have on your Wii U are one, which is called an update brick, which is pretty much while the Wii U is updating, you unplug it from its power supply. Now, everybody knows this, you're not supposed to do that, but in case you do do it somehow or you lose power, the Wii U has a good chance of getting into a brick state, meaning it's just stuck in an infinite loop of booting up again. Now, the next brick you can have on your Wii U, um, there is no exact term for it. It's just when you open up your Wii U, the actual console itself, and you just play with the bits and pieces and put it back together and hope that it'll boot up again. Now, if it does boot up again, but you don't get past that logo, that's because you messed up with something uh, in the actual motherboard, or maybe just some other pieces that you misplaced or misaligned, that causes the Wii U to short out on some parts, and it just gets stuck in an infinite loop. Now, another brick you can have, which was similar to the Wii, is when you update your system software in the wrong region, or you change your region in the Wii U. Now, if you do this, I'm not exactly sure why it does brick your Wii, but it's due to the fact that your Wii is always using its location to update itself. Now, when you change that location, you are changing, um, the not the internals of the Wii U, but more like the brain cells of the Wii U. You are changing the memory of the Wii U. Now, when you do this, it confuses the Wii U and it makes it go in an infinite loop again called bricked. Now, there are many other bricks out there. For example, when you're modding your Wii U, you download this channel called Hackchi and you downloaded it incorrectly. That just causes the Wii U to confuse itself. There's another one where you installed the Hackchi title on a USB when it should have been on a NAND file. There's other ones where you just deleted the channel itself and that confuses the Wii U again. There's, there's a lot of bricks out there, but unfortunately, I'm, I, I don't have the solutions to all of them. Now, one last brick that I found that was quite popular was when you installed CBHC over a non-legit DS title when it should have been purchased off the actual eShop. That causes the Wii U again to confuse itself and just brick itself because it's not a legit title. Um, there are other ones when you update your CBHC to 1.6 and that corrupts the update files. Um, there, there are just many out there. I'm looking at a whole list right now and half of them don't have solutions. That's... That's mainly because the Wii U hasn't sold too good as the Wii. Now with the Wii, there was a lot of exploits to how to how to fix how to essentially fix your Wii. But since the Wii U didn't do so well, well, there are not a lot of exploits. There's not a lot of people to experiment with the Wii U. So that's why there's not a lot of solutions out there. All right, now with the solutions, the solutions can get a bit confusing. If you're not going to use the solutions I'm going to tell you in this video, there's probably a good chance that you're never ever going to fix your Wii U, but it's okay, just hear me out. So with the one that I told you earlier where you opened up your Wii U and you took out some parts and put it back in, um, that is unfixable because you essentially played with stuff that are not supposed to be played with. There are certain things where once you take them apart, you can't put them back like they were in stock. Now with the Hakshi and the CBHC type of bricks, there are really no other ways besides having a NAND backup for your Wii U to fix these bricks. Now, if you don't know what a NAND backup is, it's pretty much just an entire backup of your, of your Wii U. So just in case you do something, you have that backup to reset your Wii back to stock. 
or Wii U, sorry. Um, now, if you don't have a NAND backup, there is this NAND extra, ex extractor that you can get. I'll leave the link below in the description, but pretty much you can download and hopefully try to download one of their NAND, NANDs, NAND files into your Wii U. So you don't essentially have a stock Wii U, but you have a semi-stock Wii U. Now, if you installed CBHC over a non-legit DS title, um, there are ways you can fix this. Again, with that NAND file, but if you don't have that NAND file, there's literally no way you can do it. The NAND file is pretty much preloader or boot me on the Wii. It's the equivalent. Now for the CBHC uh, trying to update to 1.6, if that just bricks your Wii, there are no solutions to that. I haven't found any solutions to that one. Pro there was probably corrupted files or something in the Wii. Now the very last solution that I could give you is the two links uh, I'm gonna leave below. They're two different videos pretty much installing, uh, just making your Wii U a stock Wii U. It's pretty much refreshing your Wii U, trying to delete all the corrupt files from your Wii U and returning it back to stock. Now, uh, this will delete all your saves, but you know, those are the very last options you could do. They're two different videos. Uh, one of, they're, they're both the same thing, but one of them just takes a different approach as downloading than the other. Now, again, I've said the solution in the Wii. If you do go buy a Switch, you're not really missing out on anything in the Wii U because of all the ports. The Wii U has literally no more games that are only for the Wii U. Everything has been ported to the Switch. So if you do end up getting a Switch, you get all the perks with the Switch, you get all the good stuff with the Switch and literally everything with the Wii U. And plus you're kind of update, updated with the world. But honestly, that is about it. If you're among the, I think it was like 15 million people that bought the Wii U, then you're 75% out of luck because not all the solutions have that I say have worked in the past. Now, again, as always, if you did find this video confusing, I'm sorry about that. But if you did find this video helpful to those of you that did, give this video a like, give it a subscribe. It, it, would, uh, it would mean a lot to me. It would, you know, pretty much validate what I'm doing. Um, but I'm probably going to make a part two of this video just because there are a lot of other types of bricks out there. But anyways, if you found this video helpful, give it a like and thank you for watching.